The hardest thing to understand in the world is the income tax. Albert Einstein. Hey, Hustlers, Christian here, host of The Hustle Show. Thank you so much for tuning in today to episode eight. Super pumped and very, very happy today because the story that I'm going to share to with you is this amazing guy that is just crushing it on Amazon. And I know there's a lot of you guys, a lot of hustlers listening to us right now that want to crack the code with Amazon and want to see what works and what doesn't. So today we're going to share the journey of Ashraf Ali from amztrainer.com and he has a truly funny and inspiring story. We had a blast recording this and I'm also super excited for today's episode because we are using our new microphone that I got. Um, I was using the Blue Yeti and everybody recommended that to get started with but for some reason I was not I was not impressed with the audio that we were we were doing for the show. So I, I went ahead and watched a ton of videos trying to figure out which one to go for and looks like I found the winner and let me know on, on social media, either on our Facebook or Instagram, you know, for to see what you think and see how it sounds. Okay. Hopefully you enjoy it better. Hopefully I sound a lot more like a broadcaster, which I'm not, but hopefully at least the quality of the sound now, it's a lot better and improved, okay? And before we jump into our call, remember that all the show notes for today's episode will be available at thehassleshow.co forward slash THS8, as well as finding our free book club where we review entrepreneurial books and we recommend you some of them to stay motivated and to keep learning on your entrepreneurial journey, okay? And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, okay? If you are new to the show, welcome. And if you're coming back, well, welcome back. I hope you already hit that subscribe button right now because if you do so, it will help us and it will help a lot of other people to find our show as both iTunes and YouTube will see this as a good sign that the show is no, is, is worthy of your time. And if you, if you hit that subscribe button, it will really mean the world to me and you will be, you will be doing the favor to a lot of people that are looking for the inspirational, content that we're putting together for for everybody for free so just hit that subscribe button and help us spread this message across okay so without further ado let's jump into our call with ashraf ali all right hustler so today's hustler story number eight we have ashraf ali welcome ashraf hey we're very excited very pumped to have you here man you know i've been reading a little bit about your story and it's amazing the, the incredible success that you've had, but not only that, you've been able to replicate it and teach, your, and teach it to your students and basically just create a ton of success stories. That's awesome. Oh yeah, that's uh, excited and I'm excited to be part of this uh, Hustle show. So I'm very much excited and pumped. <laughs> cool, I love that, man. So let's, let, you know, let's, let's start it to the game. I mean, let's start with the, how, why Amazon? Why start selling on Amazon when everybody's teaching how to sell on Shopify and how to use Facebook ads? And how did you come? How did you get started with Amazon? Okay, so before I started on Amazon, I want to tell you my other stories and other failures. So back in 2008, I started a business called Call Bike. So I was reading a uh, internet uh, newspaper web website. They said uh, there is a concept called Call Bike. It is famous in Thailand. So I was in Chennai, India. I decided that, okay, let me start that. So I got the, you know, when you get some ideas, you get uh, pumped up, right? So you get a lot of ideas. So I got that idea of a call by concept. So nobody was started that in India. So I started that. So I went to a nearby store. I got a nice uh, uh, SIM card for a phone and uh, registered a website, everything done. And then after that, I don't know how to do it. So I talked to a couple of uh, bikers. They said like, you need insurance, a lot of stuff. I was like, oh man, this is not the business I would like to do, right? Then I said like, okay, let's start a recruitment agency. Then I went ahead, started a recruitment agency and uh, I couldn't do it. I got 50 to 100 resumes. I don't know what to do with the resumes. I was like, no, <laughs> this is not the one. Then I decided that, okay, people are doing a software company, right? So let me start a software consultancy. So whenever I want to do something, the first step I do is I go to GoDaddy, I register a domain. <laughs> That's the first step I do. Because uh, if you look on my account, I have 30 to 40 domains. So I was like, okay, let's do that. Then I started that. After that, I didn't know what to do. 
I was like, oh man. So it's it's like uh, my journey was continue. And there is a crazy story. Back in 2013, I started an agro business, uh, agriculture, like importing goods from uh, India to China, Singapore, Japan. Every day I was calling uh, uh, the suppliers in China, Singapore, Malaysia. Hey, do you need rice from India? Hey, do you need this? Do you need? I was like, but I couldn't close uh, none of the deal. I was like, oh man, what is this? What is going on? I mean, why it's me? I'm I'm doing one by one. Right, so I was uh, I was worried. Then uh, one day, I mean, as usual, uh, Facebook ad. I saw an ad about Amazon. I was like, "What is this?" Okay, let's uh, let's click the ad, right? Because uh, that's how they made sure that the ad copy, the ad image is good. So I click on learn more. Of course, uh, I had to give my email address and name. So I started getting a lot of uh, Amazon related materials. So that's how I got interest towards uh, Amazon because after all of my uh, four or five years of uh, failures, hundreds and thousands of dollars. So I was keep on looking on business after business. Then finally, I stopped on Amazon. So I, I thought like, okay, Amazon is the way. Let's start doing that. So that's how my journey started. <laughs> Very cool. I love that. I have I have a bunch of domains too that I never even started the website. <laughs> so I know that feeling, man. I, I, yeah, you end up with a bunch and you never use them. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> I mean, that's exactly what we're talking about of how everybody paints the story that there's a three three step system for success and looks like you know you that's actually how you got into Amazon with one of those ads so that's pretty cool man that's pretty fun yeah so, so the, what what did you like about it when you got started yes the the main like i mean uh, i like the most with amazon it's like uh, you don't need to touch the products because when when people said like hey uh, you can purchase from india or china you can directly send it to amazon us i was like what how is it possible, right? I was like, I was trying a lot of different businesses. Uh, this business looks very different. Then I started learning and uh, I purchased a course for $5,000 and then another course for $8,000. And you don't believe that was my credit card balance. That's it. I told my wife, hey, I'm going to purchase this course. Amazon. She was like, what? Amazon, $5,000? Are you going to purchase any product? No, 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 no product. <laughs> I'm going to purchase this course to learn about Amazon. She was like, no, I don't know. I don't know where are you heading to. I was like, ah, because you you know the feeling, right? So she was like, okay, this is your final uh, final risk, or just do it. So I swiped my credit card and then joined the course, and it's an eight weeks course. I was like, yes, eight weeks, because when you join a course, you are uh, your emotional feeling is high, because you attended a webinar. You are like, yes, 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 bonus one, bonus two, bonus three, bonus four. Yes, yes, I'm going to be millionaire. So. I swiped my card and I joined. So week one, they, they were teaching me about product selection and week two, same product selection. Week three is about supplier selection. How can you launch? When I, when I look back, they said like, okay, eight weeks over. I was like, what am I going to do, right? I was like, I was, so <laughs> it was really funny. I was like, where is my $5,000? <laughs> eight weeks over, they said like, okay, eight weeks course is over. And uh, this is the community. You can ask any questions you want. And uh, that's it. They closed all the lessons. And uh, somehow I worked with uh, suppliers in China. I launched my product, but I don't know after that what to do because the course end. And uh, the, I was I was totally, but I cannot tell the same to my wife. She was like, hey, how is it going? I was like, yes, yes, all good. <laughs> It was a crazy journey back in 2013-14. I still remember, and I get excited when I share uh, this. So, so what happened was uh, I launched the product, and as you said, three step to success and uh, zero to hundred thousand dollars in 21 days, right? <laughs> so I was I was in the same uh, mentality. Okay, I'm going to make hundred thousand dollars in 21 days. My product is live. So first day I made zero sale. I was like, okay, first day, right? Because Amazon first day. Okay, that's fine. Let's do it. Second day, zero sale. I was like, okay. One week passed by zero sale. I was like, no, something is wrong. Two weeks, three weeks, I made only two, three sales. I was like, what's going on? Then I decided, can I close this business, right? And try something else. Then at the time, I got something uh, very strongly hit in my mind that how many business am I going to try, right? I tried one, failed, tried two, tried three, because I was keep on, I was keep on trying, but I'm not, I have not immersed myself. Right? I was not truthful to myself. I was like uh, other uh, entrepreneurs, like you want to do this, do this, do this, right? but you don't uh, do it fully. So I was just sitting and thinking, what am I going to do? Right? So then I decided that, okay, no matter what, I need to make this work. Whether it takes one year or 10 years or 100 years, no, Amazon, 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 nothing else. 
So then I started immerse myself and then I started going through a lot of different uh, webinars, podcasts. I used to work late nights because when they started all these uh, courses, they say, hey, just work 30 minutes and do this, bum, right? Because all those uh, BS and uh, I was started realizing it <laughs> after losing all these uh, $5,000, $7,000. It's, it's not about the money. What I, what I felt was, was it, it's the time, right? Because uh, anytime you can earn $5,000 or $10,000, but the time, right? Because I wasted uh, five years, six years, seven years trying different, different businesses, different, different courses. So I strongly got one point is time earned is money earned. That's all. The second thing is you got to start and do it. So I'm kind of an actionist. Then what I decided is, okay, let me attend a lot of different podcasts and webinars, everything. So I started attending, I started learning a lot of insight tips. Then I started realizing, did I learn all this in the eight weeks course? Where are all these, right? I was like, come on now. They, they didn't touch anything about all these new concepts. I was like, what's going on? Then I realized, oh, okay. So it's a kind of uh, marketing tactic to, to make sure you get your logical, emotional feeling to swipe your credit card, right? <laughs> so then I started a lot of uh, learning, a lot of things. So October came and November came, I started making a couple of sales. Then uh, my, I would say November, Thanksgiving, right? So Thanksgiving morning, everybody said, yes, Thanksgiving, USA, Amazon, you're going to make more sales. I was like, uh, I mean, you don't believe, uh, even I got up at morning 7 a.m., uh, I was uh, complete ready. It's like going to the offline store. I was like, okay, let's open the laptop, look on the sale, zero. I was like, oh, okay, Thanksgiving day, gone. I didn't make any sale. I was like, oh man, what happened? I made everything correct. My pictures are good. I have a nice product. Why no one is purchasing, right? Then Black Friday, right? Black Friday morning, no sales. Then evening, I started getting sales. One, 10, 15, 20. I was like, what is going on, right? So I, I used to get a, I used to get a notification in my mobile. So I used to tell my wife, hey, hey I'm getting sales, 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 sales. So in those two, three days, I made almost 100 to 120 units. Then I started gaining the confidence that yes, this business model works. If you put your effort, if you learn constantly you, and uh, try different, different things. So that's how... I started liking this business a lot because uh, you separate your time from the business. For example, now I'm talking to you, but I'm making sales because it's all online. It's autopilot mode, but this Ashraf is not, I mean, uh, this is not the case when I started, right? When I started, I had to go through a lot of hours, late nights, everything, China suppliers, a lot of things. And uh, this is how I started liking this uh, business. That's an amazing story, man. That's <laughs> a, the, 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 you know, the funny thing is that I resonate with most of it. <laughs> I've been there too, you know, started projects just, just because it sounded good. And then, you know, they failed miserable, but you learn something, you know, yes. every time you start something, you learn something. And the next one, at least, you know, in my case, the next one is bigger. And then the next one is bigger and then bigger and then bigger. And then look at me. Now I have my show. <laughs> oh yeah, that's correct. And uh, I, I think I forgot to tell you another crazy story. Uh, I started another concept called uh, just to send gifts to, I mean, I started a new business. It's online, a gift, gift business. So what is uh, like uh, you subscribe and you pay $0 and you get uh, two, three goodies for free, like a baby gifts for free. And then from second month onwards, you get $10 worth of uh, gift and it, it continues for six months. So I started this business. I gave them for free. So 200 customers came, they swiped their card for $0. They got the product from second month onwards, they st their card started failing. I was, I was getting declined, declined. I was like, what's going on? I was like, oh my God, this business screwed up. So, so I tried a lot of different things. Finally, I landed on uh, Amazon. That's so cool. Well, you know, at least you found it and you found your passion. You found yeah. what made you happy because you can tell that you're very passionate about your Amazon business, which is so yeah. amazing. Very yeah. cool. When yeah. you get, when you get started, we were, you were, you were mentioning your wife and you were mentioning about the risk that was involved. I mean, it was huge risk monetary talking. I mean, it was a lot of money to put in a course without even knowing if it was going to work or not. What were those feelings like? What, what did you feel? Did you doubt yourself? What were you thinking back then? It's, it's every day. It's like this. <laughs> it's, it's, it's too, I mean, it's very complicated. I mean, when a relationship with the wife, I mean, uh, you have all the ideas going on passion, but it's very difficult for you to explain, right? Express and saying like, Hey, this is going to work. This is how Amazon works. So it, those four to six months, it's tough. I mean, uh, every day she used to ask like, Hey, where is my 5,000? I was like, yes, it's coming. Right. Then, uh, then again with my, with my son, I used to sit and work on the computer. Then she said, Hey, can you take care of the baby? I was like, uh, 
I need to do this. Again, those uh, those mental pressure. And then I used to work after they go to bed. I used to work start from 12 to 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. because uh, I want to make sure like I uh, I give my time to them. And then I, I work uh, 12 to 3 a.m. just to go through everything. So it's it's a one of uh, what do you call it? It's it's a tough journey for sure. <laughs> it is, yeah. It's it and and you know you have your ups and downs and there's good days, there's horrible days. The, I think the the you know I don't know if you if you agree with this, but one of the things is just keep pushing. You know whatever happens. Yeah, that's correct. I mean I would say if your why is strong, that's it. If you if you know that why am I doing this right? Why am I doing this? I need to do this for sure. Then you will keep pushing because many people I'm seeing uh, they say like they're entrepreneur they just start, but within two three weeks or two three months their interest level goes down. That's all. Their uh, logical uh, they start fearing themselves, saying like, "Hey, am I going to win? Am I going to do this? Am I going?" The moment you get those question marks, then it's very difficult to come out of. So all I say is uh, I surround myself with uh, like-minded people. Because uh, you need to have someone to push you, right? When you push forward. Because if you just sit alone and think like, okay, am I going to do this, do this? You will just close it. Just shut down the laptop and uh, go and watch movie, right? So, so those are the things uh, I learned. And uh, to be honest, in this past uh, 12 to 16 months, uh, I'm sure like I learned a lot of stuff. <laughs> and after I started my AMC trainer program and uh, I got a chance to meet a lot of people from uh, different countries, UK, India, Dubai. So I'm, when I talk to them, I'm, 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 I'm learning a lot of things from them. So that's uh, AMC trainer is another crazy story. I'll, I'll share it with you in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Very cool, man. So with, with all the failures that you were going through business after business, did you start doubting yourself that, you know, success was something for you? Oh yeah. That's, that's the, I, I had a million dollar question going on my mind that what am I going to do, right? Am I going to struck with my nine to five job or am I going to create a legacy? Am I going to help more people? And how am I going to have a lot of vacation? How, how am I going to make my wife and family is going to be happy? So I got a lot of all these questions. And because when you get all these questions, your speed will go down because you might be running in 10 kilometer or 10 miles per hour. The moment you say like, hey, am I going in the right position, right track? Then you stop, right? So it was uh, it was a tough emotional mental i mean you can see i lost my hair <laughs> that's a, that's the one thing so that's, that's, that's very funny to all the to all the hustlers that are watching this on the youtube channel you know you can you can definitely see that <laughs> oh yeah that's correct because uh, success i mean success is possible but you have to work for sure i mean you have to do hard work smart work first of all you have to love what you do that's it I mean, whatever you do, I mean, whether you do a business or whatever it is, you have to love and uh, should be passionate about it. And uh, I'll just uh, share how I started this AMC trainer program, because uh, when you see my journey, it was all about starting my own business, right? Just uh, doing my business. Then AMC trainer is a kind of a digital product I created. So I'll just give you a background of why I got started and uh, you'd be uh, very much excited. So the thing is, so... When I joined those $5,000 course, I had a lot of 200, 300 members joined along with me. After eight weeks course, everyone is like, what am I going to do, right? Because they don't know what to do. So I started helping them because uh, I'm a kind of a fast learner, learner and action taker. So whenever I learn some concept, I call them saying, hey, you have to do it like this. Hey, do that. So I started helping many people around me for free. So I was started helping many people. Then one day around uh, last year, 2015, I got suddenly like, why don't I create my own program and help many people, right? Because uh, many are, I mean, the $5,000 or $2,000, $10,000, it's a hard earned money, right? So people are just purchasing this four weeks, eight weeks course. Why don't I create my own program and provide continuous support and make sure they reach their goals. They reach their uh, financial goals and they get financial freedom, time freedom, location freedom. Why don't I do that? And uh, you don't believe when I started, when I thought about this idea, I was thinking about only one thing. How can I provide value, value, value? That's it. Even still, I was wondering, like, I didn't think about how am I going to make $100,000 or $1 million by selling this course. All I was focused is, how can I change people's life? Because uh, in my opinion, when you change people's life, it changes their generation, right? It changes their uh, financial position, generation. So that's how this AMC trainer uh, started. So I wanted to help them in a continuous uh, business journey. So... We, we, I know we talked a little bit about how the Amazon business started. 
but how were those six, the first six months of your course, how was that? Because you basically started again, you know, this is a new business. You basically started from scratch again. Yes, I'm going to share that. So when I, when I got this idea of uh, creating my course, so as, as, as you know, I directly went ahead and uh, registered a domain. It called us earn in millions. I registered a domain called www.earninmillions.com, right? I registered a domain. I was like, yes, this is the course name, earn in millions. So I registered a domain. I created a Facebook page. I, uh, I started a Facebook ad. I say like, okay, I, I, I did everything. My video, everything with the earn in millions logo, everything. Then uh, I got a surprise from uh, Mr. Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook. So he says, hey, we cannot do that because your landing page says earn in millions. It's a kind of a MLM. I was like, they say like multi-level marketing. They say like, no, we cannot approve your Facebook ads. I was like, how am I, what am I going to do? Because I can drive traffic through Facebook, right? So now they said like, they cannot approve my ads. I, I appealed again and again. They said like, no, earn in millions look like a scam. So, <laughs> so we cannot approve your uh, Facebook ads. Then I sat again back to drawing board i had to i had to design a new logo change everything then the new name came as uh, amz trainer and then uh, you don't believe i recorded 120 videos in 3 weeks 120 plus videos in 3 weeks i worked 20 hours per day i used to work uh, night time after my uh, wife goes to bed i started recording video like this uh, talking about the concept after concept how to product uh, find a product how to find a supplier every video is concept after concept so because i want to I want to give everything because at the time I didn't know that, uh, okay, you should, you should share only this much. You should, I, I didn't know anything <laughs> because I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a sales guy or a marketing guy. So I started recording all the videos. I used to work 20 hours a day for uh, three weeks. Then I, then I set the deadline that, okay, on May 30th, my birthday, I should launch this course. So, so I work like anything on May 30th, as you know, it's a, it's a Memorial day weekend. People who are enjoying, my friends are calling, hey, I'm going to Niagara Falls. Are you coming? Niagara, uh, no, no, no. Another friend was calling, hey, can we do barbecue? I was like, uh, no, no. They were like, hey, what are you doing? Three days. All I was like, no, no, no. These three days are <laughs> these three days are golden nuggets for me. I have to utilize. So, so if you look on this, this is the reality, right? So people think that, okay, entrepreneurship is very easy. You can enjoy all these long weekends. You can go here and no. Because all those three days, I was just sitting and recording, completing everything for a course launch. So I launched my product on May 30th with zero customers, zero email list. I didn't know how to do, what to do, how to do. So I launched a product, but uh, no customers because nobody knows who is Ashraf, right? I mean, nobody knows who is Ashraf. No one knows who is AMC trainer. I was like, uh, what am I going to do? Then I started uh, giving uh, guest access to a couple of people so that they can review my course. Then they started applying the concepts. They started getting results. Then they started uh, uh, recommending those first six months. It's a nightmare. Sometimes I decided that, okay, let's close this. Let me look on only on my business alone, my Amazon business alone, instead of teaching them how to do Amazon, right? Because they, they were not paying me money. I was like, come on guys, I have a nice course. You're not paying me money. You're going and paying somewhere for $5,000, $10,000. So I was like, oh man. So those six months, eight months, I was, uh, I, it's, it's, it's a tough journey. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's a super funny story, man. I mean, I love, I love the way you tell it. <laughs> it just makes me, you know, it, it reminds me of many times that I started something, you know, it, it, it's just the way it is. I mean, and that's the point, you know, to, to show people that when you launch your product, don't expect the $100,000 in 24 hours, because it's not going to happen, you know, unless you're somebody that is famous with, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of followers. Mm -hmm. That's Otherwise, correct. it's not going to happen. No, because if you, if you look on my product, uh, I didn't know what is uh, lead magnet or uh, tripwire. I didn't know anything. I just launched. If you look on my last year when I launched the product, it's kind of a, it's, it's a long website. That's a one page website and opt in everything because I didn't know how to do. Right. So it's, I mean, uh, the one thing I can say is entrepreneurship is not easy as they just look on those Facebook ads. They say like, how I, how my client land on this six figures, how I did the seven figures, six figures, five figures. I mean, those are all just a hook to get your email address. <laughs> That's all I would say, right? Because uh, they are making sure uh, you read their uh, ad and then uh, click on learn more and give your email address, but it's a long journey. It is. Oh, it yeah. is. And 
And, and at, out of this journey, what would you say would be your worst entrepreneurial moment that you felt that, okay, now you know what, let's, let's quit entrepreneurship and just go get a job. Do you have one of those? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, there are a lot of, lot of moments out there. <laughs> I cannot just say one or two because every time, every month I get this. Every every month, my little friend uh, comes to me, say, hey, just close this, go to your nine to five job. Why, why do you need to worry all this? Right? Because, because people are thinking that uh, nine to five job is a kind of, uh, it's kind of tough. So entrepreneurship is very easy. But I would say you need to put 10x effort what you're doing in your nine to five job. Because you cannot just say like, okay, I can just work 40 hours per day. I need uh, $40 million, right? No. Because you need to keep updating yourself, keep pushing, keep pushing yourself. So it's a kind of a long journey. So I felt that moment, whatever you said, like, okay, quit and uh, close it. Because uh, I didn't had not even a single guy join my course for 30 days. Every day I used to check my phone, Stripe, Stripe is zero, Stripe, zero dollars, zero dollars. I was like, come on, what is going on? And uh, whoever comes to me, they ask me, uh, why should I join yours? I can join that guy. And he says, I can earn hundreds and thousands of dollars, but you are telling uh, I can just earn only hundred dollars. I said, like, I'm, I'm, I'm telling reality, right? I'm telling real. He's like, no, no. He's telling I can earn a hundred thousand dollars in uh, six months. I can join that course, and you are telling uh, uh, I should be focused. I should be determined. I should be this, this, this. No, I was like, come on, guys. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> oh man. Then, then I started realizing myself, what, what is going on with these people? Do they, do they need flashy objects? Don't they need an actual reality of how, how business works, right? So even you don't believe, uh, I conduct my webinars, right? So I conducted my first webinar because people said, when you sell a digital product, you should do a webinar. So I didn't have any clue of what is webinar, what to do. So I conducted my first webinar and it's really, again, another crazy story. I conducted a webinar. I created 120 slides and uh, 120 slides. Everything, everything. Okay, this is this, this, this. I was teaching everything. Okay, <laughs> I conducted a webinar with Indian audience. So I thought, like, okay, uh, before I, I reach American buyers, let me try with my fellow Indian audience, so Indian uh, members, and see like how they react. So I conducted a webinar of uh, 60, 100, 80, 70, I don't know exact numbers. They registered. You don't believe only two guys showed up. Okay, mm -hmm. out of the two guys, the second guy gone, only one guy. Okay. I was like, come on. So let's, I was, I was thinking like, Hey, come on, you just log up so that I can close my webinar. Right. He was simply sitting. I was like, come on, man. I my throat is gone. <laughs> so everything is over. So I asked him a question. Hey, how is it going? He was like, Hey, I couldn't uh, hear anything properly. There is a sound issue. I was like, Oh man, sound issue. <laughs> you could have test. You would have I was like, Oh man. So, my webinar was like that. Then I conducted another webinar. Only two people joined. I talked for 150 minutes. You don't believe. Just two people. I talked. No, zero conversion. Again, after 10 days, another webinar, right? Only four guys joined. Again, uh, two guys left and then two guys. So I was, every week I used to conduct a webinar, 120 minutes. And uh, whenever I start, my wife gives uh, two bottles of water. She said like, hey, just drink. You are so much excited. <laughs> I was like, so, but end of the day, if you look on it, even though I didn't make any sale, but I had a satisfaction that I was educating someone about this business model. That was the, that was a good, I used to tell my wife that, but uh, you know, women, right? Women are like, Hey, uh, show me the money. She was like, Hey, you, I, I, uh, I sacrificed my two hours of time. So how much you earn? I was like, every day I still remember. So I used to close this room. I go out. She asked, Hey, how many conversion? <laughs> Nobody joined. No, they said like, they will join next week. <laughs> She was like, oh man. Then she, she used to tell me one thing. You're teaching everything and how will they join? You should not teach everything. She was teaching me how to teach. <laughs> I was like, she was teaching me that uh, how I should conduct a webinar. She was like, no, no, no. See other guys. They are telling uh, flashy objects, right? Nice big cars, nice big house and uh, big, big things. Why are you not doing I said like, <clears throat> I don't want to sell dreams. I just want to sell reality. I'm a common real guy. They need to, they need to, I mean, I should... Uh, I mean, uh, mirror them. That's all. Because Ashraf is one of the guy like them. That's it. Because Ashraf is not a digital marketer or a guru or an internet marketer. No, 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 no crap, no BS, right? So my webinar style is totally different. I mean, if you look on my old webinar, I openly tell in the mic, I tell people that, hey, if you're not serious about this, don't join my program. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing, 
uh, when they say like, hey, 30 days, I used to say like, hey, if you're just joining to get 30 days money back guarantee, please don't join. Don't waste my time. I was, I was totally reflecting myself. Right. Then I started getting more leads. Then I started realizing, so this is how you spread the truth because it takes time. But at the end of the day, I mean, as of today, we have crossed to six figures in the sales revenue with zero percentage refund because people are happy because when, when they join me, they know very well that, okay, I'm not going to earn hundred thousand dollars in 21 days. I'm not going to make seven figures in uh, three weeks. It's a process. I tell people that, Hey, when you start something, just try to earn hundred dollars. Okay. Now replicate the same $200. $500, right? Just go step by step. Don't come back and ask me that, Hey, I started my business. I need hundred thousand dollars because I don't have hundred thousand dollars to give you. So, so I have a lot of stories like this. <laughs> I'm a man of crazy guy. <laughs> I love it, man. I love, I love all these stories. And, um, you know, I'm sure all the hustlers that are listening to us right now are having a blast with your story, <laughs> but, uh, you know, during your course and now that you're teaching other people, and you're giving them the message of reality of the behind the scenes, like what I'm trying to do here too. It's a little harder because there's no shiny objects, right? Yes. There is no, there's no sugar coating it. There's no glamour. There no, is no real magic deal. cat. Yes. There you go. There's no magical anything. I mean, it's, it's, it's raw. No. So you, you've seen the people quit. You've seen the people have success. Why would you think that they quit? Why do people just give up and, and go do something else? Okay. Uh, that's a good question. Even uh, I'd be very honest with you. People join my course, right? Even I say like, Hey, whenever you have any question, I conduct a monthly coaching call every month. I conduct monthly coaching call. You don't believe people who joined with me back in last year, April, they attend the coaching call still because I want to make sure it's not about selling course to hundred people or thousand people or 10,000 people. I want to change their lives because I want to make sure I change their lives. They take action. So that's a good question. I have noticed one thing common with all the people. I mean, uh, when they say quit, it's because they don't want to work. That's it. They don't want to work. They don't want to put hard work. They don't want to learn. They, all they feel is, okay, I joined this course. Okay, Ashraf will make me as a millionaire. That's all. Right? That's how they feel. They, they, they swipe their credit card on my website and they feel like, okay, okay, Ashraf, I swipe my credit card and where is my million dollar check? Right? But I tell them that, hey, I have everything, secrets, tips, tricks, just go through the video, just apply, right? So the one thing I feel is they are lazy. First point, they're lazy. The second thing is reality is when they attend this webinar, when they join the course, they are very much pumped and excited. They are like, okay, I'm going to make this happen. But the reality is after a couple of days or weeks, their real life, their nine to six job, their family, parents, friends, they're surrounded by all these factors, which is attracting them towards that. They're not coming to this back to this. They're again going back and doing the same. And after three, four months, they're realizing that, okay, wow, I'm doing the same thing. There's a new course. Let me join the new course. So, so they, they started here, right? They were like, yes, I need to do this. So they go after th two, three weeks, again, they go back to their reality, right? Their real life. They don't go through these modules or videos, no hard work, not nothing. And then they go through their Facebook, they continue their work. Again, they see a new ad saying like, Hey, Facebook course, you can do a new clients, blah, blah, blah. They join that course because whoever comes to me, 30% of the people says, Hey, I spent $2,000 in this course. I spent thousand dollars in this course. I spent $5,000 in this course. I asked them all, all, I asked them only one question. You spent course after course after course. Have you gone through the materials? Have you applied? They were like, no. I was like, then, then there is no point. Don't join me, right? Don't join with me. Don't purchase my course. So the majority of the people, the reason is lazy and uh, they lost focus and uh, they are not the real hustlers, to be honest. <laughs> they are entrepreneurs. That's it. I mean, uh, they are not entrepreneurs because I, I, I don't know where I found this term. Entrepreneurs are the one, they are like, go get it. And uh, the entrepreneurs are the people, they are like, huh, it is his mistake. It's his mistake. They don't, they don't take the blame on themselves. They say like, no, the course is not good. No, Amazon is not. Amazon is too much competitive. Shopify is not for me. Uh, affiliate marketing is not for me. No, ClickFunnels is not good. They always find reasons to just to satisfy themselves. That's it. Wow. That's a, you know, that's, that's <laughs> life changing. <laughs> that's so cool, man. I love that, that answer. Um, and, and that's exactly what we're talking about. That's basically the shiny object syndrome that, 
you look at if, something if, nice. If you find the shiny object, Sindra, make sure to PM me in Facebook. <laughs> well, see, I, I, I've been there too. I've been there too. So I know the feeling, you know, thank God I stopped now. And that's yeah. the reason why I'm doing this because yeah. I felt the passion here, but I always was like that. I was always trained this. Okay. This, this is going to generate that much. Well, let's go. And then now this, and then now that, and you never get anywhere, honestly, never, ever, because you're just starting all over every couple of months. So you're never going to do anything. That's correct. It's, it's more of a passion. That's it. I mean, if you're passionate about entrepreneur or business, I would say like, don't do it. I mean, I'll be honest because uh, it's, I, I'll, I'll tell you the trend. The trend is uh, in 21st century, I mean, in this internet world, the trend is, for example, when they, when they want to learn something, they go to Facebook group, they join all the group, join, 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 join. That's all, right? So they get analysis paralysis. They get a post after post, different, different groups, but they don't take action because they just join the group because they say like, okay, Amazon, Amazon, Facebook, uh, Shopify, course, 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 right? So the reality is, they're not ready. So I would, I would tell everyone that uh, if you're planning to start business, make sure you have a strong why and then uh, passionate about what, I mean, do whatever you're passionate about. If you're not passionate about business, don't do it, right? I mean, if you're passionate about singing, just go ahead and do singing, right? I mean, focus yourself as a singer and uh, you can do well. If you're passionate about business, just do it. And of course, a uh, lot of ups and downs. There'll be a lot of downs. <laughs> Compared to ups, so I'm, I'm sure a lot of downs. I'm sure like you must have experienced a lot of uh, down for sure. <laughs> yeah, that, you know, that's one of the days that I came up with the idea of the show was one of the worst oh, days. Yeah. I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I really like this show because this is like, this is like talking to me in front of the mirror. It's not like, <laughs> a, it's not like a official show like, hey, yeah, we did uh, six figures in uh, this one and uh, I do seven figures there and I'll make sure... Uh, all of your viewers can earn seven figures in 20 days. And here is the 30 percentage coupon code for your group and they can take it. So I really like this. Uh, it's reality. We are both are talking the reality and uh, that's how it works. We are. And, you know, to all the hustlers that are listening, we, we're not saying this because we don't want you to do it. We're saying this so that you can prepare emotionally. You can take the right decision. Is it for me or is this not for me? Because I've been that route. I've gone through after the shiny objects, I've gone through those. Okay. Well, this program is going to make me a hundred K, but this one is going to make me a million. Okay. Well, let's buy the million one. <laughs> That's not how it works. It needs to be after the passion and needs to be. And I think the reason is because I don't know if you agree with me, but the reason is it's going to take you thousands of hours unpaid and super bad days versus a few, very few good days. So the passion is the one that is going to keep you going. That's exactly right. I mean, without passion, you cannot do Because think about me, every week, 150 minutes, right? Every week, 150 minutes. Hey, do this, do this, do this, do this. I'm like excited. I'm like, okay. And you don't believe uh, after the webinar, I used to get, ah, I used to drink a lot of water. My, I get a uh, sore throat. I was like, okay, what, why am I doing this? Then I was, uh, I was like, okay, I got to make this win no matter what. Right. So you need to have the passion because you'll have a lot of downs. Because I still remember uh, there was one webinar. I still remember uh, there were 140 members registered and 40, 50 people have joined. I was like, yes, 40, 50 people. Let's make more, uh, more conversion. But uh, only two or three joined. It's like, okay. Because uh, you, your mind is more attached to when sometimes uh, your mind with external factors, right? With external factors, you have to pay bill. You need to make this win. You have to prove yourself. So, all these factors will put you down. The only way to come up is the passion. You need to like, okay, I need to make this win. Uh, no matter what, I can have a lot of bad days, but I need to make this work. So, so, so the warning is bad days are more, good days will be less, but uh, the final success, it's going to be really nice. I mean, the, because I'm, I'm tasting the success because uh, I'm, when people are texting me in Facebook saying, like, hey, it's because of you, I'm still doing this Amazon business. It's because of your motivation, I'm doing this. Because of you, a couple of people quit their job because uh, they followed my course, they took action. They're... So it, it feels me that, okay, when some, some of people are telling like, hey, every day I'm praying for you and your family. I was like, wow, that's a gifted feeling, right? I mean, you don't, you don't get all those things by selling a 100,000 course or $2,000 course, but uh, I'm changing people's life and that is making me to run fast that's amazing that's super cool man i mean i know i i've noticed that you've come a long way and it feels like you're very passionate you're you're happy what we're doing and 
you know, I'm very proud of all the success that you had, you know, that's amazing. Kudos to you for that. But what would you attribute your, what do you think is your secret to your success? <laughs> I, I don't say that I have only one or two secrets. I mean, uh, maybe a uh, lot of, lot of secrets are there. So you, you're talking about how I have more energy or uh, what exactly? I mean, what, what did you think? Is the one thing only one thing that made you successful and i'm not talking about technical stuff i don't talking about well i did this trick no what do you think is the one secret that got you to where you are uh leave a legacy that's it so i don't want to be a guy who just uh, born in india and then lived in us and then go back to india that's all no i want to be a guy who 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 changes many people's lives and leave a legacy and uh, that's my focus because uh, today I have a Facebook group with 5,000 members and people around the world knows me. But if I'm stuck with my nine to five job, it's just an ashraf with only 10 friends, right? So now I got a chance to change many people's lives. So now after 5,000 people, now I'm thinking like, okay, why don't I reach to 50,000 people and change their lives? So now I am more of a legacy focus to leave a brand and uh, help many people. And that is making me to run faster than ever. So that's, that's my secret. Very cool. I like that secret, man. So we're going to move a little bit from your story to what I like to call the hassle round. Okay. Where basically, I'm going to throw a word at you and I want to hear one word only, the first word that pops into your mind. Okay. Does that sound like a plan? Sure. How many, how many questions? <laughs> it's, I think it's like 11 words. So okay. I'm, going to, I'm going to give you a word and then you give me one word back of what you think about that word. Okay. Got it? Sure. All right. Let's, let's hear I it. I'm an actionist. I'm not a perfectionist. <laughs> that, that, this is not perfection. This is that's you know, correct. This, is, this <laughs> is real, no filter thing. Okay. All right. Hustle. Hard work. 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 Uh, skip. <laughs> <laughs> Employee. Slave. Boss. Slave's boss. <laughs> uh, rules rules right rules skip <laughs> you're putting me on spot <laughs> <laughs> college college just a degree fear fear to avoid to skip weakness Weakness. Uh, weakness is, so I should just tell you one way, right? So weakness is, uh, I, I, <laughs> I'll just keep it. <laughs> Because I'm, it's, it's, it's like my mind is not prepared to answer everything in one, one word. Because I'm not a fancy guy, so. <laughs> so you have like a paragraph long description. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Strength. Strength, right? Power. Motivation. YouTube videos. <laughs> I love that, man. And the last but not least, books. Just to keep you busy. <laughs> Are you more into videos than books? Uh, not, I, I'll be honest with you. I've read a couple of books in my whole, uh, the one book is, the first book I read is uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. From Robert Koyasiki. So I'd say, like, that's the whenever someone comes to me, hey, what is the one book I should I say, always say, like, just go ahead and read because that's the only book I read. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go on through a couple of Russell Brunson's book. So, and then now I'm going through Tony Robbins' book, but uh, uh, Robert Koyasiki's uh, The Rich Dad Poor Dad, that's the one made me to think and outside of the box saying, like, okay, nine to five job, you don't need to do all these things. There is something called the real world where you can do whatever you're passionate about. So rich dad, poor dad. That was actually one of the, my first entrepreneurial books that I ever oh, read. Okay. And so every, I think all the, all the real yeah. hustlers go through the book. <laughs> yeah, I think that changed my life forever. So yeah. to all the hustlers that are listening to us, I mean, go get it if you haven't read it. I mean, it's amazing. Oh, yeah, that's correct. It's, it's life-changing book. Yes. So before we get ready to leave here, um, I just want to hear a little motivational hustler quote from you. To everybody that is listening to us or watching us in our YouTube channel, uh, you know, that maybe they are in defense of taking the leap. They're still in the nine to five job, but they have that, that 
gut feeling they have something inside that is burning that they want to go after their entrepreneurial tendencies or maybe they already started a business what would you tell them to to keep pushing to keep them motivated okay i'd say take calculative risk imperfect action and then uh, <clears throat> keep focused and the last one is time earned is money earned that's all these four covers everything <clears throat> because when i say calculative risk you should be ready to take calculative risk because whatever you start everyone has their own threshold level uh, risk threshold so i would say the first is take calculative risk and then uh, time earned is money earned so always uh, focus more on to uh, push yourself and uh, keep focused and you will reach your desired goals i love it man <laughs> thank, well, thank you so much i mean you know you, it was it was we had a blast here and just before we leave the call uh, how can people connect with you if they if they are looking for help on their Amazon business or they're looking to start one, how can they connect or how can they find out more about you? Okay, so they can connect me in Facebook. It's Ashraf Ali. So they can connect me or they can email me at ahmed at amztrainer.com. A-H-A-M-E-D at amztrainer.com. So they can email me and uh, I love to help all the hustlers. If you are a hustler, just email me. If you're a wrestler, don't email me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. All right. Well, you heard that, Hustlers. And well, thank you so much, Asraf. You know, you, you truly shared amazing stories today. And I know, you know, we, we, we had a little bit of time, so we couldn't go over more. I, I would be... Oh, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm eager to <laughs> keep... A lot of stories to share on some other episode. <laughs> we're going to gonna have to schedule something again to hear more about those stories. But, you know, I'm very proud of you. Keep, keep hustling. Keep doing it. Um, I, know, I know there's big success to where you're headed. And, you know, I wish you the best of the best. And thank you so very much for taking the time to talk to us today. Sure. Uh, thank you so much, Christian, for the, giving me this opportunity to, to talk from my heart, to give the reality of how this journey is going to be look like. I mean, uh, the, your listeners may be thinking of starting a business or they may be a 30 person in this journey. So I'm really happy that uh, I gave them a clear picture of how the reality is, right? I mean, if they have a wife, they need to be make sure like they're going to get... Uh, lot of unpleasant moments. So I'm really uh, very much uh, happy and thankful to you to start this hustle show. And I'm sure like with this show, you're going to change a lot of people's minds, so uh, lives. So very much uh, thankful to you as well. So there you have it. The story of Ashraf. So funny. We had a blast recording this and you can tell that this guy is just full of energy, full of passion. And that's why I wanted to share it with you because even though he had all the situations with the wife and it was not an overnight success, he still made it through. And now he's just just teaching others how to crush it online and how to do super good online as well. But it was definitely super interesting to hear all the things that he went through and all the the funny in the story that now that, you know, years later when he's able to share with us. It, it, it's pretty funny to hear it, but I'm sure that when he was going through, it was definitely very tough emotionally and physically, okay? So I hope you tune in on episode nine as we have one of the big names in, in outsourcing and it's super inspiring to hear this guy's story for episode nine. So make sure you tune in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because if you do, you would also be helping a lot of other people to find our show, to show iTunes and YouTube that you know we're putting good stuff out there and that you enjoy it. And a lot of more people are gonna find our message, okay? Keep hustling. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in to the Hustle Show audio experience. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And even if you didn't, make sure you subscribe to the podcast right now. It's still free. Visit thehustleshow.co for all the show notes and to watch the video experience of this episode. We'll see you soon.